What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. OG here, Bulldog Barbecue. So what I got going on today is I am going to season my pit again. I already pressure washed it and scraped it. I didn't have to show you any, any of y'all that. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, but I decided to do this because I wanted to start modifying my pit. Um, the only modification I did, I guess you can say, is I just put a gasket seal uh, in between the cooking chamber and the door to create a snug like feel so more smoke can stay in there but I think I'm gonna just go all out and uh, modify it to my liking um, but that's not what this video is about this video is about me just showing you how to season your pit real quick so I'm gonna get some charcoal lit up so Let's get it fired up. All right, too. once your charcoal is almost lit and ready to be dumped in the firebox, uh, you get yourself either the biggest can or the value pack of, I use canola oil, um, it's cheap. Um, and you just spray the inside of your firebox like crazy. Uh, every nook and cranny, um, you just spray it down. And then whenever you close it, just spray the outside of it. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the inside of my pit like As y'all could uh, see what I did there, I just sprayed the inside of the cooking chamber, even the inside of the fire pit like crazy with the canola oil. Then, you know, when your charcoal is, is ready to go, you just dump it. And I put two logs of, uh, two splits of post oak, cause that's all I use. You can use whatever you want. But as I can see, it's already going. Um, I usually don't close my fire, uh, my firebox or my cooking chamber for about five minutes. Just, just let the oxygen just kind of uh, start the wood, um, fire and all that smoke, all that chemistry and stuff. Um, and yeah, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close the doors and I'm gonna spray the outside of it. What's up y'all? So as y'all see, that's how you season your smoker. Once you get uh, your smoke rolling, your fire going, you just let it do its thing. Let it burn that oil out. If you have some rust on it, it'll burn out as well. Um, another thing I do uh, when I do longer cooks, I tend to uh, spray the outside and the fire pit mostly here and there. You don't have to do it, but that's what I do to just keep some maintenance in it. Um, as you can see, it's, it's covered in oil, fire pit inside out. Um, so yeah, you don't gotta do much. It's gonna do his own. So stay tuned for the results. So it's been two hours into the seasoning process. Right now we're looking at 225, but look how darker and shinier the smoker is, especially the cooking chamber. The firebox is a little B just because I set my logs up there to preheat during my long cooks and whatnot. But um, yeah, so that's how easy it is to season it, season your pit. Now, I know people get excited, want to start using the smoker. You got, most important is to let it cool down. Um, so you might have to use, uh, start cooking on it the next day. Um, but yeah, that's just, that's how it is. It's, it's simple, easy and uh you don't gotta worry about much so if you like this video subscribe comment whatever if not then it's cool um thanks for watching stay tuned uh on my modification videos coming up soon so thank you all for watching